Smash Balloon officially integrates with Thrive Architect and it does so in a seamless way. This is what the backend looks like when you drop in a social media feed on your Thrive Architect powered page. Now, not too long ago, we talked about here on our channel about some cool social media feed plugins that you could use if you want to display your social media feed on your website. But remember, you first really want to make sure that this move even makes sense for you. Uh, so please be sure to check out this video before you take any action. So let me show you how easy it is to use Smash Balloon alongside Thrive Architect. I'm going to skip the first two most basic steps that you need to do if you want to follow along this video, which are installing the actual plugins on your site. I'm operating under the assumption that you've already done that. It shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to sign up to Thrive Architect and Smash Balloon and download the plugins from their websites. So with Smash Balloon, you can either sign up to display a specific feed to one of your social media profiles or all of them. In this case, I've installed their Twitter feed. This is going to allow me to display all of my tweets on my website. So let's just power through the setup and see what the entire process looks like. All right, so I'm in the back end of my blog and the first thing that I'm gonna do is jump into the Twitter feed plugin. Let's take a look at all of our feeds and I don't have any of them created, so let's create a new one. And we're going to select a type of feed that is going to be of type user timeline. This is essentially going to allow me to display a timeline of tweets from my Twitter profile. We could also, uh, you know, showcase public tweets which contain a specific hashtag. It's, you know, that's something that, that is of any interest to you or add a feed of tweets matching specific search terms. In my case, let's just power through with the user timeline one and we're gonna do my uh, Twitter profile. Perfect. Let's hit next and let's just do the very simple, let's do simple cards and see what that looks like. Awesome, so here is what my timeline is going to look like when I embed the social media feed on one of my pages. Um, now you can get a, a crystal clear overview of what these are going to look like on all types of devices, which is pretty nice. I think I like this and I'm kind of happy with the layout as well. I mean, you can change it to masonry, Let's go back to desktop. You could change this to a carousel if you wanted to. Uh, let's just keep it as a list and let's just display perhaps, yeah, four of them is fine. Feet height, 400 pixels seems reasonable. And we've got an option here to load more tweets. So this looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at the header and see if I'm happy with that. So we could have, this is the standard her header or we could switch it to text and customize the text. I think I like the standard one with a call to action here to follow me on Twitter, which is nice. All right, let's go back here and uh, the tweets themselves. Let's take a look at what the style looks like. This is the boxed styled, but we could use a regular style as well. I think I actually like this one better. We can have a divider and customize the thickness. Whoa, 12 pixels is a bit too much. Yeah, I think one pixel is fine. All right, and I think I kind of just wanna hit save. And now let's take a look at where we can actually insert this Twitter feed. So in my case, I'm thinking that it may be a good idea to display it in the sidebar of all of my blog posts. So let's take a look at how to do that. We're gonna jump into Thrive Theme Builder and under templates, I am going to load all of my post templates and three column layout is the one that I'm currently using. So let's customize that one. All right, and here we've got a uh, movie review that I did on Blood Diamond. So here we can now drag and drop a Smash Balloon social feed and let's just put it here under, these, under this search bar. Great, so let's jump into main options. We're going to Select the plugin that we're using. Again, Smash Balloon treats all of their different social media feeds as different plugins. So in my case, I'm going to be using the custom Twitter feeds plugin. And the feed that I'm going with is the one for my Twitter profile. And this is what it's going to look like. Let me hit save and see if we can uh, get a better crystal picture uh, by previewing the page. All right, and if I scroll down now that we're previewing the post, uh, you're gonna get this message, uh, you know, ever since Elon Musk acquired Twitter, there's a new, you know, set of restrictions as to how many tweets or how many API calls can um, external companies make to Twitter's API call. So 
you know, most users shouldn't have any issues if you're simply tweeting out a few times a day. Um, and as you can see, my Twitter profile is coming through really nicely. There's a really nice call to action here to follow me on Twitter. And my four latest posts have been displayed here on the sidebar, which is, it's, it looks really clean. It really matches my minimal aesthetic. So yeah, you can spend as much time customizing the actual design of the feed itself. But so far it looks kind of cool. And if I click on this image, for example, it opens up in a light box. Really nifty thing. Like I said, this is just an example of how to use Smash Balloon's Twitter feed and how easy it is to use it alongside Thrive Architects. But you can do this with, you know, your YouTube channel. In fact, I'll probably display, you know, end up adding Thrive Themes uh, videos to my blog as well so that they can get displayed there. And you can do this with your Instagram profile, uh, which come really in handy for local businesses. You can use it with any of your social media profiles. Questions I'll be more than happy to reply to in the comment section below. And yeah, I hope you found this useful and I appreciate your time. All right, see you soon, bye.